Hello everyone. In this video, we will see a C program to find out even and odd numbers in a given range and save them in a file. Let's quickly see the logic. In this, first of all, we will ask for a range from the user. So for example, user is entering 5 as minimum range and 20 as higher range. Now we want to save the output in two different files. So we will open two different files. Those will be text documents. In one file we will save all even number and in another file we will save all odd numbers. Please note here we are going to make use of two different text file to save even and odd numbers separately. Now let's start with the logic. We all know that even number is completely divisible by 2 whereas odd number is not. So, we will use modulus operator to check whether number is even number or odd number. But in this scenario, we want to find out the even number from low range to higher range. So, we will make use of one variable which we will start from a lower range. So, currently our lower range is 5. And it will check whether 5 modulus 2 is equal to is equal to 0 or not. This is not 0. Why? Because remainder is 1. Which means the given number is odd number. So we will save it in a file where we are going to store all odd numbers. Then we will go for to the next number. So we will make use of i is equal to i plus 1 which will make our i value equal to 6. Then it will check for 6 whether 6 modulus 2 is equal to is equal to 0 or not. It is equal to 0, remainder is 0, so this condition is true and 6 will get saved into the file where we are going to save all even outputs. Now this process we will repeat unless and until we will reach to the higher range. So in our case unless we reach to the 20. Once we reach to the 20 and let's say 20 is even number so it will get stored into the file where we are going to store all even numbers once this is done i value will become 21 again it will come here inside the loop and it will check whether 20 is sorry 21 is less than equal to 20 or not this condition is false hence it will stop the execution of a program so simply we are going to make use of for loop to check the number is even or odd in between the given range and once it is decided it will get stored into the respective files. Once our complete execution is done we will close both the files and we will close the program. So if logic is clear we will quickly write the C code. Here I am going to write a program using code block. You people can use any compiler to write a C program. Now we will be having one program file and two text file where we are going to store the output. So for simplicity I have created one folder. You can create this folder anywhere you want. So here you can see I have created one folder named even odd and currently it's empty. So let's quickly store our C code in here and once we execute we will get our output text documents here itself. So this is a basic structure of a C program. Let's save it in the same folder with .c extension because our program is in C. Now let's start with the program. We require three variables. One for higher range, one for lower range and one for i for the for loop. All the three numbers will be integer type. Next we require the file. So let's create two files. Now we will ask for range from the user and at the same time we will open both the files.
Now let's open the file. It's a text document and we are interested in writing in the file. So we will open it in a write mode. Similarly, one more file to save the odd numbers. Now let's write the for loop in which we will check whether the number is even or odd and accordingly we will save. For loop we will start from lower range and we will go up to higher range. In this we will make use of if else to check whether number is even or odd. Our current number is stored in i. So we will check i modulus 2 is equal to is equal to 0 or not. If it is 0 then save your output in the even file. To keep a space between two numbers we will add some space over here. If this condition is false, then we will store our output in the another file that is odd output. Done. Now this for loop will execute for lower range to higher range. Once this is done, we will close both the files. Now if we will run this code, we will get the output. But just for understanding, we will print two lines over here once we open the file that it is showing odd number and it is showing even number. Now we also have to specify where we want to print this. So we want to print in FE file and we want to print this in FO file. So our program is ready. We have asked for lower range, higher range. We have opened two files. Then we have executed our logic. And once our logic is done, we have closed both the files. So quickly compile this program to check whether any error is not there or not. Okay, so no error, it means our program is successfully compiled. So right now you can see there are only C and application file. So files related to C, there are no text documents available right now. But once we run the program, we will get the text documents. So let's run the program. Low range is 5. Higher range is 20. Program is successfully executed. Now let's go back in the folder and check for the output. Yes, we can see there are two more text documents over here. If I open it, you can see all the even numbers between the range 5 to 20. And if I open another file, we can see all odd numbers between the range 5 to 20. Now, if we rerun the code, we will get the output in the same file. So, let's rerun the code. Low range is 1 and higher range is 15. If we come back, even numbers between the range 2 to 1 to 15 and odd numbers in the range 1 to 15. So this is a main logic for loop and inside the for loop if else and writing the output on the same file. Thank you.